What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my six quart pressure cooker slash multi cooker chef IQ. Today, for you guys, I'm going to make some creamy spinach. Never made that before, but with the chef IQ, I don't have I don't have to have any experience. It's just going to show me how to do it. All right, let's open up the app, y'all. There it is, right there. Start guiding cooking. So these are all the stuff I need to get lined up, which I believe I have done prepping. See that right there? Yep. All right. So. Cool thing about this, I'm just going to follow this and I'm going to leave everything that I'm doing in the description so you can follow in your pressure cooker. Wait, hold on, let's back up for a second. And recipe, because I'm going to use the scale. Where's my scale? Right here. There we go. Alright, this requires 20 ounces. So I wash my spinach. I'm just going to add it in here. That's cool. Ha! We're at 15. But I just realized something, guys. I think I'm going to stay at 15 because the recipe did say for baby spinach. I forgot to tell you that. I couldn't find baby spinach in my... Um, well, actually, I did find baby spinach... In my local food line but it was like an organic baby spinach and I think it was like four ounces for like three dollars so I was like I'm not buying all that I'll just go to I went to all these and I usually they have baby spinach in a big bag but they didn't so I just got regular spinach so because regular spinach obviously is bigger than um, you know uh, baby spinach I'll just keep it at 15 ounces my bad guys let me go ahead and resume all right, I'm going to add a half a cup of water. Let me go ahead and attach my pressure cooker lid. Hit! Just had to hear that, sorry. Went ahead and put it in the seal position. Okay, guys, right now the start button is blinking. All I have to do is hit start, and it's going to go ahead and... Do the appropriate time without me knowing I think it's one minute they say oh my phone says approximately eight minutes because it's gonna take time to get the pressure or whatever so I'll be back guys all right we're about at 80 percent 81 percent and you can hear it it's about to come to pressure All right, so we came to pressure, guys, so it's just one minute. We got about 30 seconds left, and it will release the pressure on its own. All right, so now we're going to put this in the strainer or a colander or whatever and just get all that liquid out so let me show you something cool about this while the um, spinach is draining so you see it's showing me four tablespoons of um, butter right but if I hit here it'll go to the list again so I can confirm the next steps and all that good stuff isn't that cool and I hit back and it goes away alright guys so I'm gonna hit next and so it's going to step eight, sear and saute. So I gotta hit the start button. That's cool. So it just didn't go to saute mode. It's gonna wait for me to actually hit start. Cool, I like that. So next step is my onions and my um, garlic. So I'm gonna, I have my onion chopper, so I'm gonna chop that up for you. So we're supposed to do it for three minutes and it's actually counting down. Look at that in the green. That's cool. It's counting down for me. 
<laughs> awesome. All right, three minutes is up, so I'm gonna hit next. So add onion, garlic, and salt to the mix. So let's go ahead and do that. So they wanted a tablespoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna use some pink salt. It's all good. And we're gonna mix that around. So it's counting down for me. It's two minutes. I have 50 seconds left. These are ceram um, ceramic inner pot guys, so you know nothing's gonna stick really to this. Smelling good so far. Shout out to everybody with their uh, silicone or wooden fertile. You didn't see it, but it called for three tablespoons of uh, flour, all purpose flour, I guess to thicken things up. So I did that. And that's exactly what it did, y'all. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Put that in there, quiet everybody up. Okay. Also said add three ounces of cream cheese. I don't know if this is three ounces, but we'll assume it is. <laughs> okay. All right, mix all this around. I'm gonna go ahead and add back my spinach. Should be all dry by now. And we're gonna mix that in. Okay. Finally, I'm gonna add some vegetable broth, one fourth. Almost done guys. It does call for some fresh Parmesan cheese and I don't have that guys. Shame on me. Um, I did go to all these before I started this but they didn't have any either there. So and this will help thicken it up. So we're just going to add that and mix that in and let it sit. And we should be good to go. So yeah, I would say if you like this, this, I like this consistency. So if you do, then 15 ounces of, um, 15, 16 ounces, well, call it 16 because you, you guys are probably going to run into an 8 ounce bag anyway. 16 ounces should be good to go. Yeah, smelling good too, guys. So I'll let it thicken up and we'll make a plate. Look at that, y'all. Perfect. This is the consistency that I want. Shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. Alright guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. Another guilt-free dinner for you guys. You ready to have a bite? I am. Now you can have this with a steak or whatever type of meat you want, actually. Doesn't matter. It's all good with all of it. You first. You got it? Fantastic. Fantastic, guys. You try that. Mm. Man, this is great. Definitely try this. Look how easy this was, guys. Chef IQ strikes again. I want to shout out D. Johnson 
and the rest of my kitchen gadgets group. I think it's like five or six of them that went and bought out, bought one of these machines because I bought one. They trusted my advice. This is a true game changer. You saw it for yourself. Can your can your pressure cooker do all of this? I don't know. I, I doubt it. I don't have one that can. This is truly a game changer. So link will be in the description. Go ahead and pick up yours. Don't be afraid of success. Oh, one other cool thing I wanted to show you. So you see where it says share ingredient list? This is what I'm going to do for you guys. All I'm going to do is in the description, I'm just going to copy and paste this. See, I can copy it. And I'll just paste it in the description for you. Boom. Well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of my plate. Guys, if you have this pressure cooker or any pressure cooker, I'm talking about an Instant Pot, Ninja Foodi, or Kasori, Go Wise, whatever you got, consider joining my pressure cooker group on Facebook. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. We'd love to see what you're making in your pressure cooker. Also, guys, if you have, um, oh, wait, before I even go further to Instagram, if you are on a low carb diet, I would consider this low carb to me. Um, Consider joining my low carb group. It's called Lower Carb Nation. No keto. We're just low carb. Not no carb. Low carb. Come in there and show us what you're making low carb. We'd love to see it. Or if you need some ideas, come in and, and see what we're doing. We'd love to share it with you. So excellent. So yes. And guys, if you have an Instagram, definitely join uh, join my Instagram, Cooking with Doug. Because I show off all my, whatever I cook on, whatever gadget. And some extra pictures. Or you might see me somewhere or you might see AJ somewhere. You never know what you'll see on the Instagram. So definitely look at that if you're a fan of mine. Alright, but other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. What's cooking with Doug?